Alright guys, so this is going to be a guide to textures. Here I have an example for you guys so we could identify uh, which elements here have textures and how they contribute to the aesthetic or the visual appearance. Let's go ahead and take a look up close. Uh, right here with the top bar, you can see we have a checker pattern texture. If I hide this, uh, you can see now we have a smooth gradient surface uh, behind. This right here is a texture. And we also have a similar thing on the buttons right here, as you can see. If I turn these off, on, off, on, off. Right, so the buttons in the back here for the entire frame, we do have a, if I can select this, I believe it is inside of meme, we have a large scale texture. As you can see, some very, very subtle dots. So if I take these off, you can see everything now is smooth, right? If I bring this back, there is a very slight uh, texture. And basically, textures give our UI some more depth and a more tactile appearance. Or else, like I said, everything will be smooth. And if you're going for like a, a hyper clean look, you could go for, you know, you could have everything smooth. So that is the point of textures. You can see like the egg shop in the back. Uh, we have like the checker. So textures are a very important uh, facet and uh, something you should always consider when it comes to designing. Uh, when it comes to real world products and materials, right? The texture is also very important. You know, obviously physical items, uh, you can actually feel it. But uh, the same principles apply to digital mediums like user interfaces. So how can we add textures to our UI? Um, perhaps I can, so we have this, uh, perhaps I can, I'll just make a copy. Okay, turn this off, turn this off. And basically right here, I'm gonna take off my textures. Okay, so we have these. Disabled, we're gonna take a look at how we can apply textures of our own and basically my process as to, you know, how I approach this for my own designs. So we're gonna hop into Photoshop real quick. All right, so I have a checker pattern texture right here and you can see it is completely white. It is colored and filled with white, as you can see. And if we check the canvas size, we have a size of 512 by 512. So you can look for a one to one aspect ratio uh, canvas sizes or dimensions, right? So 512 by 512, you have 256. Uh, you have, you know, 1024, for example. Just go for any size you want. I think 512 works just fine, uh, personally, for me. So for all of your textures, you want to obviously, when you export, you're going to make sure your background is off and transparent. Okay. And next is to always make sure the color is completely white. So if your texture is black, you can simply hit control I to invert the colors. Or if your texture is some other color, like, you know, pink or red, you could go for a color overlay or like a fill, just make it white. Like that and uh once you have your once you have your texture that is white you are ready to export so you can simply export the whole thing and uh, we're gonna head back into studio okay so here we are uh once you are here you go for your assets manager and this right here is basically where you will uh import your textures okay so click the import button import your own textures here is my checker texture. Now I'm gonna go right click, I'm gonna go copy asset ID. And now here is how we're gonna add this to our own UI. Let's go for the most visible portion of the you know structural parts of our UI. So the main here for absolute inside the folder, I'm gonna go for image label, boom. 
center anchor point in center position. Let's go scale size, scale size one. I'm gonna go for image and we're gonna paste our ID. Okay, so paste. And you can see it looks weird for now. That is because we we have to change the scale type from stretch to tile. And I'm gonna go for an offset size of a hundred by a hundred and a scale size of zero. Boom, boom. Now you can see we have our texture. And the reason why we use tile is because now if I resize my frame, you can see how the texture remains tiled and unaffected. Whereas if I have stretch, let's take a look. Uh, you can see how well, it stretches. So, oops. So you will see an issue is that our texture is on top of our, our UI. Right, so how exactly do we fix this? Let me go here actually. Uh, we're gonna go to Z index zero, and this will bring our texture behind. And now the reason why I don't simply just modify the color and I keep this white because if we go for a UI gradient, this is where the fun begins. Here we can modify the color. Okay, let's go for a simple color. What looks nicer, guys? A lighter shade? I think not. Let's go for a darker shade, right? Something just visible enough. Okay. Funny thing is, I think this looks better than our noise texture. Or actually, we can have both. No, the fun part is uh, we're gonna go for transparency. When you click the dots, this is going to prompt the uh, graph or the curves editor. And basically right here now we can basically with this now, we can basically fade off certain portions of our texture. So obviously we have to account for the rotation angle. Uh, you know, you could go for 45. Let's look at angle here to use like this, I guess. You can see how we could basically fade off the texture, right? Have some variation like that. Don't want this too strong. This right here, especially just something very subtle. Okay. Just like that. Now you guys can basically see the power of texturing. And the best part is with the uh, scale type as tile. I can copy my texture and paste this inside right here and it will also and it will also be scaled as you can see right here for here I'm gonna modify the tile size make it 50 let's see small just like so and now you guys can basically see that is how you can apply textures to your UI inside of Roblox Studio. Uh, just make sure you follow the basic principles. Use a square one-to-one -one aspect ratio for your texture. Make sure you export in all white. Make sure it is transparent. And when you are applying your texture, make sure you go for scale type, tile, apply a tile size of offset. And uh, yeah, that is basically it now you can see our texture looks pretty good um, obviously you can mix uh, some scale values as well if you want so yeah that is basically it i hope you guys enjoyed check out the design academy right here as well as the other items on the store we have five icon packs for you to choose from we currently have seven tutorials as you can see and i'm currently editing the eighth one right over here uh there is over two hours of footage so i don't know how long this will take if you want to learn how to design check out the academy you can buy the bundle at a discount and we also have unlimited access where you can get every single item on the store and all future items with one single purchase 
we're also close to 300 plus members as you can see right here you can see we are at 282 okay so thank you all for watching i appreciate your support follow for more and i will catch you guys next time